So, while doing our research on the Panchakoshas and Ashtanga Yoga and how they can be used as the rubric of the interventions, I came across this ICDES world, this, this is the name of the organization and Sri Lalji is uh, his, its founder. They have beautifully captured the five koshas, Panchakoshas and the related Ashtanga Yoga practices. Uh, Lalji is a uh, very, very committed practitioner. He spent years in different types of sadhana, different type of yogic practices under the tutelage of none other than Acharya Sri Sri Ram Sharma ji, who is the founder of uh, Gayatri Parivar who is the founding editor of the very famous, very, very popular and reputed spiritual magazine called Akhand Jyoti. Uh, amazing work he has done. So, they have and in his organization ICDES, they have very beautifully juxtaposed the different practices. I have not been trained by this organization, so I cannot explain these practices. Uh, I can understand few by the name but uh, the practice of yoga is such that different organizations can actually bring some creativity, some permutation and combination which can uh, do great things, which can be innovation in itself. So, I am not going to explain these practices, but I can also, but I will suddenly mention what strengthening different aspects or different koshas of self. Physical body is the first. Annamaya Kosh. Annamaya Kosh, if we keep our Annamaya Kosh well, then it will give health, longevity and youthfulness. If we take care of our Pranamaya Kosh, that is managed through breath as I just explained, that gives royal personality, that gives our ability to work smartly, that enhances Oj and Tej, that can also bring fame to our life. Then comes Manomaya Kosh. Manomaya Kosh, when we nurture Manomaya Kosh, in our personality we can develop patience, mental balance, concentration and intelligence. When we take care of Vijnanamaya Kosh, our sixth sense arises or some people also call it third eye, gentleness, sympathy ability to look at pattern before others, all these capabilities come when we maintain or manage, when we strengthen our Vijnanamaya Kosh. And Anandamaya Kosh, when it is nurtured, we reach to the self-actualization, limitless happiness. Uh, these are the outcomes of nurturing the Anandamaya Kosh. And then uh, Lalji has and this organization uh, teaches many practices related to yoga, these are and these can be mapped towards strengthening some or other form of koshas. Actually all the practices influence all the koshas, but uh, they operate mainly in one, they reflect first mainly in one kosha and then the impact of that uh, spill over to the other koshas, that is how it works. So, now, this is excellent example, this can be explored. What we are going to do in this course is this much. We are going to look at the interventions for managing self and career corresponding to five koshas. So, Annamaya Kosh, we are going to look at Ahar and Asanas. We will have session on how to in use ahar as intervention, food as intervention for managing self and career and we will also discuss about asanas. In pranamaya kosh, we are going to discuss pranamaya, pranayam. I will also share some resources for you to learn the pranayam, some basic pranayams. Manomaya kosh is probably most interesting of the koshas because all the drama is emotional drama and all the emotions are mainly 
seated in the manomaya kosh so we are going to discuss the yamaniyam as the ways of managing manomaya kosh uh, chitta prasad this is one mental and how it, it can be achieved that is uh, also an aspect of managing manomaya kosh how to manage negative emotions like fearfulness anxiety dependence sentimentality we all talk about stress all the time but stress is just the reflection of the surface of mind underneath the stress are either fearfulness anxiety dependence or sentimentality related emotions how to manage that how to come over that uh, how to uh, reduce that dose in our personality that is what we are going to discuss as an intervention in this course. We are also going to discuss Pratyahar. Pratyahar can be excellent intervention to manage our Manomaya Kosh as well as Vijnanamaya Kosh. Vijnanamaya Kosh is the seat of intellect, internalized knowledge. How do we manage that? We can manage that by identifying purpose in life. But the question is how I discover my purpose and that is what we are going to discuss as an intervention when we look at the intervention at the Vijnanamaya Kosh. Karma Yoga looks like it is op it operates at Annamaya Kosh because physical action is incorporated in the Karma, uh, karma Yoga, but it is in my understanding is excellent input to manage Vijnanamaya Kosh modern time mostly people are driven by intellect mostly people operate and use their intellect so much so that they suppress the monomaya kosh do not take care of the pranamaya kosh and as a result they are also not able to be very sensitive and hence not able to take care of annamaya kosh so, karma yoga can be excellent intervention for managing career and managing life. That is what we are going to discuss. We are also going to discuss dharana and dhyan, some practices of dharana and dhyan and how they can be used as intervention for managing self and managing career. Anandamaya Kosh is about dhyan and samadhi. I can direct uh, some resources where people can know more about it. We will have some discussion, but my focus is primarily on the four koshas because my understanding is and my experience is that if you take care of the four koshas, fifth one happens. Nature take us to the fifth level when we focus on previous four koshas and that is where the interventions can happen. In the Anandamaya Kosh, intervention in my understanding cannot happen. Anandamaya Kosh is to be experienced. And then uh, though the intervention is possible, if we look at the life stories of uh, Sri Ramakrishna Paramhans, he was experiencing Anandamaya Kosh most of the time, but still some intervention was required for him to reach to the even higher level of spiritual awakening. But we are not going to discuss much of those things in this course.